Hi everybody, it's Marcy, and today I am going to work on my nine nine inch ready edges for Dear Julie Julie's August Junk Journal Challenge. So let me get this stuff cleared off and we will get started. Okay, so for our first ready edge, I've got a one and a half inch strip of music paper. Uh, that I inked around a little bit. It's one and a half, well, I already said this, it's one and a half inches wide and nine inches long. And then I've got my, again, I, I cut this out on my scan and cut. It's just a sort of a vine of leaves. So I'm going to glue this down all right got my glue down and I'm just going to put my vine of leaves on top of my music paper And now I'm going to use some of these little flowers that I've been using. Let me trim that overage off just a hair shade. All right. And I'm not put, I'm, I'm going to put three uh, flowers on, but I'm not going to put them right at the top or bottom. Since these are nine inches long, uh, my pages will probably be about eight and a half inches tall, and so I'm going to have to trim a bit off. All right, so staple those just like I've been doing, and... Now, just like I've been doing, I know I'm doing a lot of repeat stuff for this journal, but since we're, oh, my fingers are sticky already, and so stuff wants to stick to me, uh, so far I've actually only used six of my dollar store items. So, but I'm really enjoying, uh -oh, where'd it go? Oh, it stuck to my finger. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to wash my hands off. Uh, What was I trying to say before I lost my little sticker? I've really been enjoying using my scan and cut. You know, it, it's so silly. I've had it for quite a while and just really don't use it nearly as much as I should. But I'm really enjoying it for this particular challenge. All right, so then get my little flowers in there, or my little flower centers, and that is my first ready edge. All right, so I'm just going to set that aside and let it dry for a minute. I'm not helping given that I have so much sticky on my hands. And uh, set that aside and let it dry for just a second. And 
move on to part or to ready edge number two. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ready page edge number two. This time I've got some of Dear Julie Julie's colorful uh, daisies cut into strips that are just a little wider than one inch. And I've got butterflies, again, butterflies and flowers cut on my scan and cut. And then here you can probably barely see them, but I've got four pieces of uh, this diamond wrap adhesive bling from Dollar Tree. And on my daisies, I did ink around the edges on my daisy page. So this one's going to be really simple. Well, the other one was too. My last one is a little more complex, but not too bad. So now, since I've pulled that... Uh, diamond adhesive wrap in. I'm now up to seven, but I wanted to use it for the center of the flowers on this one because it's a little smaller than the stickers and these flowers are kind of small. So I didn't want the stickers that I've been using to overwhelm it. Plus, I will be using that, I'm sure, for some bling and stuff, so I want to go ahead and get it drawn in. All right, now my butterfly strip is a hair shade shorter than my nine inches. So I'm just going to center that as best I can, glue it down, and you'll see I've got just the tiniest edge of some of the wings or the butterfly body poking over the edges. So then, very simply, I'm going to be smart since I'm going paper on paper, or not paper on paper, but and I went ahead and I peeled the backing off the off of these just to make it quicker. But some of them, the, whoop, the adhesive actually came off. So I really prefer anything I get from Dollar Tree that is sticker-like or anything, I always add glue to. Just for some added security. In fact, most stickers and stuff I add a little extra glue to. Okay, so very simply, that will be my second ready page edge. It's really simple, but I like it, and it is within the theme. So let's get ready for number three.